On the morning of September 11, 2001, the people of America woke up to one of the greatest tragedies that has ever struck this nation. Two planes smashing into soaring skyscrapers, another into America's castle of defense, the Pentagon, and another into the ground in rural Pennsylvania. It is a day the people of the United States and the whole world we'll never forget. Today on The Joy of Music, we want to honor those who lost their lives in these tragic events and attempt to bring comfort to those who lost loved ones on that terrible day. Through music and the words of hymns and sacred songs, we pray that the comfort and love of our wonderful Lord and the hope that only He can bring will rest upon each of us as we remember. On the Friday following 9-11, a memorial service was held in Washington, D.C. at the National Cathedral. At that service, the orchestra played a moving version of a piece called Nimrod by Edward Elgar. This piece, taken from the Enigma Variations for Orchestra, was written by Elgar in tribute to a beloved friend whom he so loved and admired. He called this movement Nimrod. 
We can feel the profound sense of feeling and care that he wrote into the music. As we hear this piece played on the great organ of the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.
In all the sorrows and difficulties of life, there is only one safe harbor and sure foundation, that of the everlasting God. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate, on earth is not his equal. We can find comfort in the words of an old gospel hymn, Jesus, Savior, pilot me over life's tempestuous sea, unknown waves before me roll, hiding rock and treacherous shoal, chart and compass come from thee, Jesus, Savior, pilot me.
for those who believe in Jesus Christ, there is always that hope that we will see our loved ones again in glory. The promise is in Scripture. John 11:25 reads, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. It was amazing that on the day of 9-11 and the weeks and months following, prayer was on the lips of most everyone. It was from the hand of God and the words of Scripture that so many found comfort in their sorrow and still do today. The faith of so many swept up to heaven as great pleas for help and mercy rose from people around the world. Set to the music of Finlandia by the great composer Sibelius. We hear the words and music to the hymn of comfort. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best thy heavenly friend, through thorny ways leads to a joyful end.
We all will meet times of difficulties and sadness in our life. We do not know what the future holds, but we do know the Lord God Almighty holds the future. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. I don't worry o'er the future, for I know what Jesus said. And today I'll walk beside him, for he knows what is ahead. My name is Diane Bish, and I want to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program of remembrance of those who died on September 11, 2001. Thank you for joining us.